Hi, and welcome to another Ping Plotter Clown tutorial video. My name is Tyson Orth. I'm a customer success engineer here at Pingman Tools, and today I'm going to teach you how to use insights. But troubleshooting a network is not the easiest thing to do, especially if you're not a network engineer. I'm certainly not. You can learn to understand what's going on. We have videos and articles and KVs and guides and manuals and all sorts of other material to help enlighten you. But we get it, you're busy. You don't have time to run all of the ins and outs of networking. Heck, you probably barely even have time to watch this video. That's why we developed Ping Plotter Insights, our artificial intelligence tool designed to analyze your Ping Plotter data. Insights will tell you what the problem is, when it occurred, where it happened, and how to fix it. Insights is a game changer. To run Insights, log into your Ping Plotter Cloud dashboard and open up a target. In the upper right-hand corner, click on the Insights button. Insights will start by scanning the last 24 hours of data to see if it can find anything interesting, and then display the results in the right-hand panel. You can change the time it scanned from 24 hours to the last 48 hours, last 7 days, or even a custom time range using the Visible Timeline option. Adjust your timeline graph to the desired time range, and then select Visible Timeline. The first data you'll see is the signal quality summary. This summary will tell you for what percentage of the given time range was the signal quality suitable for the specific service. For example, over this time range, my signal was poor 9.5% of the time, or 2.9 hours, for voice over IP services. These percentages are also illustrated below the timeline graph in the quality bar so that you can see exactly when the quality went from good to fair to poor. You can change the service shown by selecting Show All Quality, then select the service you want displayed. This change is also reflected in the quality bar. To see how we calculate these scores, you can use the Advanced Setup menu for Insights. Click on the gear, and then select Edit Quality Definitions. You can override the default settings or create your own definition. Just be sure to check the Rate Service box so that Insights knows to run that one as well. Below the signal quality summary, you'll find the top three suspects. This section shows the three events that contributed to poor network quality. This part tells you the date and time of the event and how long it lasted. These numbers give you some easy to read statistics, while these colored numbers correspond to the signal quality during the event. At the bottom of the card, you'll find what could be likely causing this event, such as bandwidth saturation. Click on the event card to zoom in on the timeline graph and pull up more details about the culprit. From here, you can see where exactly this occurred on the timeline, see the offending hops, and learn more about the likely culprit from our website. Use the navigational arrows at the bottom to quickly switch between events. Select Show All Events to see all of the events that Insights was able to pick out. You're now well equipped to use Insights to analyze your data. Go ahead and throw out all your old notes on Pink Flutter interpretation, because Insights is just going to get better and better. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at support at pingman.com. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, happy pinging.